here's to you, LL, the major and our dear old MAC. Staunch and true, will stick to you, for then we'll... It's a, such a blessing to be here this great day, to see so much work that has been done come to fruition by so many people. This is uh, such a historic uh, place and such a historic experience for us to see the unveiling of this marker which represents so much for the history of the church and for the people of this area. Uh, Māori Agricultural College once resided here, they taught here, they loved here, they united here, uh, they worshipped here. So for me, this history here is powerful. We acknowledge our ancestors who have brought through over the, over the generations the wonderful teachings of MAC. They were taught to acknowledge God. They were taught to act in faith. And they were taught to live clean and wholesome lives. President David O. McKay, who was a prophet of the church, said that character is greater than intellect. And it was the character that came from the students of the MAC that carried this church through the war years. When all the missionaries were sent home after the attack on Pearl Harbor, Matthew Cowley remained, and he's a sole missionary. So what does he have to do? He looks around and he calls on the MAC students and they become the leadership of the church in New Zealand. I mean, this is the hub of the church, Elder Yamashita, down here. You can feel it today. You know, me standing here today, I feel that this is where the, this is a blessed spot where the Lord puts some magnificent people and many of you in the hearing of my voice, you're the, you're the fruit of those magnificent people that the Lord loves so much that he put his church right here, his school right here. It was the hub. Yeah.